It's time once again to delve into the wonderful world of shotguns. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering the Master Key Shotgun Underbarrel Attachment, which I've talked about in the past multiple times. But the reason I'm talking about it today is because of course, since we got that 300 health update, I wanted to talk about it because of that change, but also it did get slightly buffed and I think season three reloaded, but I didn't really cover it because it was kind of overshadowed by the amazing two shots of the other shotguns. So we're gonna revisit it today. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this thing does have some practical use and utility it's really not garbage i trust me it does actually kill faster than the kv broadside i am not clickbaiting you that is actually fact and i'll show you guys soon why that is but right now let's just go ahead and get into the basics of the attachment with this new 300 health update so here we are in sim.gg. I want to show you guys real quick. You can actually check out the stats for this. I didn't know this until my buddy Exalted actually showed me this, but if you equip the Corvus Master Key, you have to toggle the alternate fire button here, and that will show you the stats, the basic ones for this gun or this attachment. So you can see the rate of fire is 133. I have like 130, so that's a pretty close call. And you can see the damage profile on the ranges here. So 24 meters is basically as far as it'll go. And here is the magic, right? Zero to 2.5 meters, you're dealing about 100 damage per pellet of course that's capped so you're not going to get like 400 damage or anything but basically you can deal 200 damage with one shot with this thing out to 2.5 meters and that's basically the equivalent of the bryson 800 and the lockwood 300 and the bryson 890 they all do the same damage if you check out the next range 34 damage which is i think 136 damage if my math is correct and that basically means you're going to need three shots to kill and that three shot basically extends out to 9.9 .9 meters because you deal 25 damage per pellet that's basically 100 damage per shot so normally it's going to take two to four shots to kill out to about that 10 meter mark so this thing the real magic is right here in this 2.5 meter range now i want to show you guys the time to kill comparisons because this is where it gets kind of funny if you look on screen you'll see that the lock with 300 definitely beats the other shotguns with its two shot at 350 milliseconds but right below that is the master key under barrel attachment right above the kv broadside that's right this thing does have a faster time to kill with its two shot capability than the KV broadside with even its faster rate of fire bolt that you can equip this kills faster if you hit that two shot right and of course the Bryson A90 Expedite 12 they're still going to be kind of down there in the bottom of the list but this thing is a lot of fun of course the caveat here is it's only out to about two and a half meters which really isn't much you can damage tune this thing and get a little bit more out of it but that's basically where you're going to be at which is really really small but it is so satisfying to get in that range and deal such a crazy amount of damage i mean 100 damage per pellet or getting basically 200 damage per shot that's no laughing matter and this thing does kill faster than a lot of smgs to give you an example the theoretical time to kill for that new iso submachine gun which is apparently pretty busted that time to kill is about 603 milliseconds so just take a look at that list i showed you with the master key being at 451 that's a pretty big difference there in the time to kill and that is just to me that's so funny that this is just a little shotgun you can attach on an assault rifle and it's just such a blast to use again it does have some practical use but it's kind of difficult to work with since it has such minimal range but it is so fun because you can just kind of blast someone with the cast off right and then you can switch when they're pushing you with an smg you can just switch to your little shotgun and two shot them out of existence now if it does take three shots your time to kill does jump up and it's going to be around that 900 millisecond mark which is pretty rough because that's slower than all the other like crazy heavy hitter shotguns so generally you want to get that two shot if you're going to take three shots it, it definitely happens a lot you're going to have to start playing it like it's a, a real pump action like a legit shotgun primary which is kind of funny to do with this thing again it's just hilarious that this is just a little attachment that you can equip on your gun but basically you want to get as close as you can with this and i really when i use this i really really push and i jump into people i get as close as i can to get that two shot and it works actually pretty damn well surprisingly so this isn't something i would consider maining as in like you don't want to run around this like it's a primary because the downside is you only have four shotgun shells really isn't that much at all for a gun like this it's really not and considering it takes two to four rounds to kill it's just a bad idea to run around with this thing like it's your primary but the whole purpose of this is so you have a little pocket shotgun to kind of fall back on and in that way it works really well but i think a lot of people are going to neglect this to put on like a recoil reducing attachment or something and just have a shotgun instead as their other primary which probably works better granted but how can you not want to use this thing after seeing this? It's just hilarious, and you're going to kill the broadside faster than it can kill you. So it's a lot of fun to use, and I highly encourage you guys to try it. Also, I did mention this in my last videos covering this, but the nice thing about this attachment too is if you have a really slow assault rifle with a ton of attachments weighing you down, if you have this equipped, you can basically swap to it with left on the D-pad since I play on PlayStation, 
and your movement speed automatically and magically just increases to your base movement speed. So you're basically running around faster, even though you have a bunch of these slow attachments on, you're going to be running around pretty fast regardless of that. So it's a lot of fun, and it does have some practical purposes with that ability to make you faster when you move if you have a heavy assault rifle, and the fact that you can two-shot and kill people so ridiculously quick this thing does have some purpose. So I encourage you guys to at least try it out and try to have some fun with it because it is worth it just to kind of mess around. It's not really super trolly. It really does actually have some benefit, trust me. But that is just about gonna do it for this video. It wasn't super long, but I wanted to kind of share an update with this thing because I know a lot of people ask about it. And yes, it is viable in 300 health, but it is very niche and very hard to make work well, especially as a primary, but as a backup attachment, totally fine give it a shot it's a lot of fun to clothesline people with this when they slide into you or when they jump into you whatever it's so much fun so let me know down below in the comments what do you think about the master key attachment is it worth running would you rather run a different attachment in place of it and with all that being said guys i will see you in the next video